Good evening, warriors. It's Lisa Wolf here, and today is Masterminds Monday. And on Masterminds Monday, today, um, it was my first day back at work in a year and a half due to being sick with COVID. But I'm not doing patient care. Um, I'm doing light duty and... Um, and as you know, the cases are rising with COVID and I'm still like struggling with the long-term effects. But I do say I am proud of myself that I did work. Um, I did. I was there for eight hours today. And to tell you the truth, it, it was kind of hard at first, but I had the right mindset before I, I even went in. And like to, um, this week's... Uh, reflection with my Bible, uh, my prayer journal. Um, it talks about the love and inner beauty. And they're talking about your heart. And uh, the main scripture was Proverbs 4.23, Proverbs 4.23. And it says here, it says, I, I like to share it with you because it goes a lot with your mindset. And it says the human heart is an incredible organ. It is tied to our physical well-being, but but is also tied to our spiritual health. It is so important right now, especially with COVID and everything. Yes, that affects you um, physically, but it does affect you mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, especially spiritually. And it says, God desires us to be in tune with him and his word. And so um, it says, what did you do in order to heal and get back in tune with God's desire for you? And the thing is, what I did is that I just like, I really am trusting in the Lord for my healing. And so far, it has worked better than, um, don't take my advice, like go against medical advice or whatever. But in my condition, they have no clue how to treat me or even what to do. And they said, they they even say like, keep on doing what you, you've been doing from the get go. And it's because I finally, that there was a time that I was completely alone. But the thing is, I wasn't alone. I had Jesus Christ with me. And I thank God every day that I, I've had my faith. And that's what truly has got me through this. And you know what? It's going to get me through whatever um, challenges and hurdles that are, are coming this way. And the thing is, is that, yes, it was really hard for me to go back to work today. And, um, but I wasn't scared, you know, I face, I face, I'm facing my fears and going and it, it's just that it's at the, um, it, this is having week three and having week three, you know, you got to push yourself and trust in the Lord and yes, pray. I, and I'm praying and I, I appreciate everybody that's praying for me. And, um, I got these scriptures, um, to share with you, um, you can look them up on your own, but it has a lot to do with um, guarding your heart and your um, mind. Guarding your heart and your mind. And um, I love the passion translation of these, but I mean, it, it it's what my heart needs right now. So Philippians 4, 7, Philippians 4, 7. And the best part of this one, it says, um then God's wonderful peace that transcends human understanding will guard your heart and your mind through Jesus Christ. And you know that that's all I have right now. And and then um Romans 8 um again chapter 8 Romans chapter 8 verse 6 it says, for the sense and reason of the flesh is death, but the mind set controlled by the spirit finds life and peace. Romans 8, 6. Thank you, Austin. My son just came in. Sorry. 
And then Psalm 77, verse 5. Psalm 77, verse 5. My mind wander, thinking of days gone by, the years long since past. And like a lot of it, what I had to get used to and what I have to put in my mind is that things are different now. Um, and working on days versus nights and then working eight hour shifts. And so that means I have to be there even more. And um, But I know I'm just going to take it day by day. And there are things that you guys are struggling with and um, going through. And the thing is, you have to get your mindset um on good things and on positive things and I know that you can do it and I'm here um rooting you on and I see I see people I, I see people doing what they um need to do for their families and everything but make sure your heart is with the Lord and your mind is on positive things and your heart's in a good place because um I, I caught myself a couple times today. I had to refocus because I was getting kind of, um, I was getting tired. And and the thing is, I'm going to be doing some challenges. Um, if you're up for the challenge, like one of the challenges I am going to do is I'm looking and I'm researching is um, a perfect exor exercise to get your mind set um and your mind focus on things is I'm doing um, submerging in cold water, at least one or taking a cold, cold shower. And but there is so much health benefits with it. And um, I just got done taking a cold, cold shower and to get my body used to these temperatures. And and the thing is, is that I. I was really tired, but I, I'm feeling okay right now. But my my body is inflamed. But I'm gonna get some rest and and I'm gonna just keep on doing it and 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 try to research things that can boost my um, immune system up and protect me um, from any illnesses because right now I'm very vulnerable. Um, I'm a lot stronger than what I was, but you know, I have to keep that in mind, but not in a negative way. I just have to just keep on working. It, it, it takes time and um, it's a process, but you have to get that mindset um, there. And, and the thing is, you got to get in tune with your, um, your divine source, your divine power. And I hope you guys have... A blessed night.